The NRL 2016 is providing some big changes, and the most important is how the matches will be officiated. Yes, there's still all the regular match officials on the field, but behind the scenes, everything has changed. Welcome to the NRL Bunker. First of all, this is a, a massive step forward for the game, uh, and it's primarily about our consistency and accuracy in decision making for our match officials. There's four real pillars here. First of all is accuracy. We want to make sure we get the decisions right. Second of all is consistency. So less people making those decisions will be more consistent in their application of decision. Third is also transparency, and that's about our fans. We're going to take the fans through our broadcast partners with Nine and Fox this year, and they'll actually hear and see how decisions are made. And that'll be a fundamental difference for those people watching on television at home to see how decisions are made, and particularly the professionalism and, and the difficulties with some of those very tight calls. And the last part's efficiency because we want to make these decisions as fast as we possibly can, all the time getting it right. That looks all right there, just keep it there on two. The referee on the field will make a live decision. It'll be referred to the, the bunker uh, to review his original decision. Uh, he'll confirm or overturn that original decision and then the, uh, the decision will come back into the stadium. We've done a lot of trials. This has been uh, the culmination of a lot of hard work. It's a big investment for the game. Just review that, Robbo. We will have every camera angle in, uh, in every operational component for our video referees to look at. They'll be able to freeze frame, they'll be able to quad screen, dual screen, put all of these things together, all of the skills and technologies they've never had at their disposal before. That'll ultimately allow them to make great decisions, make them quicker, keep the game moving, and for fans, that's what we want to see. We want to see the ball back in play and we don't want to see players standing around. I think all fans would like to see video referee decisions made faster, and hopefully that will be what we achieve through the bunker. We've done probably about eight weeks of training purely on the technology, learning how to drive it. Once we learn how to drive it, then we needed to combine the processing of decisions while still operating the machinery, which has been a learning process for everyone. We throw camera four in as well, replace six with four. The main feature that's going to help us is the ability to put any one screen into a quad split so we can bring in four different angles into the one picture and then we have a, a speed dial and we can rock and roll on the critical moment and look at all four angles at once. So it preloads those cameras for us and then we keep an eye out on the other 11 cameras to see if there's anything else which we can put into that frame which may also be of assistance. Which just allows us to look at more angles in a shorter space of time to make more accurate decisions. He puts his head down and gets this on the line! Alright boys, Piz though, still got possession of the ball, he definitely lands on the line with it. Got a decision. Dooms, it's a try mate. Try! From a match evaluation perspective with referees, we now have access to every single angle. There's also side benefits in relation to the match review committee. They'll be able to put charges out in a much faster fashion as we move forward. Look, there'll always be debate around uh, officiating decisions. Uh, professional sport brings that. Uh, passion in rugby league is a really important factor. That's not going to be removed by the fact that the bunker's here. But what people will understand, they'll see how we make decisions. They may not agree with them, but they'll understand how we came up with them. I think we'll look back in time and we will be the first sport that was prepared to put our toe in the water and try this technology and it'll be a great difference for the game and a great step forward for Rugby League.